Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I'm Brenda, and here comes Jim. Whoa! I better watch where I'm going. And Ken and Baron. Today we're heading out to do a little bit of fence work. It's a beautiful afternoon, and this is the first time that Baron is actually going to do some work. We're just going to use the scoop that they've been hooked to, but we have a few fence posts on here, and we're making some. Oh. Um, we're putting a cornfield, yep. not cornfield. We're yep. putting a hayfield uh, into a pasture for the beef cows. Come here. And Jim has Come a few tamarack fence posts that he's hey. thought up. And so Baron and Ken are going to be hauling those fence posts on down to the pasture. Hey. So it's kind of one baby step at a time teaching Baron what's next and what's expected of him. And so far he's done very well. He's recently had a, a little riding lesson and did well with that. And we are thankful for a nice Kitty. sunny afternoon. Kitty. Baron, come in. Come in. So basically this won't be much different Baron, from what he's been doing, but yep, there will be stopping and starting to drop off fence posts and he'll get some exercise with that sort of thing, um, some lessons and that sort of thing. Cast up. Cast up. And we're off. This was a big mud puddle or water puddle the other day and it's starting to dry out so it might be pulling a little bit harder than it has been. The ground might be a little more sticky. Okay, I'm not sure how we want to do this. Um, we can't trust them for a minute. This is just a, a thought as you guys train your colts. Um, just, you just, as good as they might be doing, just, you just cannot trust them for a long, 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 long time. So you've got to be ready to have your hands on the lines or have somebody hold them, you know, at all times. Um, it's just not worth that chance of a runaway at this early stage or any stage for that matter. But uh, a lot of times um, he'll stand so much better if he's tired and uh, he's actually not that tired. So I might even, I think maybe I'll go up the end of the field and come back and then turn around so that I can be actually heading away from the barn, but he'll be tired and then it'll be, it'll be good. I right, cap step, cap step. Oh. Oh, actually, I got an idea. Oh. But if you could just walk behind me and we will just actually sit the post and then um, if we, you count like, I don't know, t 20 paces, probably be fine your paces and I'll drop another one in. So you can actually go ahead of me and, and just count when you get to 20 paces, stop and then I will okay. drop the post.
Easy, easy. All these little things, even like throwing that post, it's uh, really good to do. Easy, easy. Oh. Oh, oh. Cast out. Oh. Oh. Good boy, now ho. Now ho. I cast out. Cast out. Oh, oh. Every time ho oh, that I've stopped, or the last couple of times I've I've went we've come to a place to drop the post, I've made it kind of noisy. So I think two or three times now, so I'm just gonna be quiet this time because I don't want it to be noisy. Oh guys, oh guys. Oh. oh. Okay. Um oh, guy. Ho, ho. Brenda, can you just take one more post? Ho, ho, ho. Actually, if you take two more posts, we put one right at the fence and then one about halfway here. And then Okay, I'm, one. so one halfway here and then one at the fence. Yeah, take them both. And I'm gonna go up Oop. the field a little longer to get ho, to work them a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go all the way back down to the end uh -huh. and come back through and stop and put the posts in. Okay. So I'll pick you up right here in a minute, few minutes. Okay. I right, cast out. Cast out. Ha. 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 Oh! Why don't you start off by making some holes? One of us has to watch the horses at all times. So, I'm afraid that when the iron bar and the post and things get poundy, it may spook and that's okay. I'd rather make a hole than take care of that situation. Oh. So back up a little bit so you lined up. Yeah, right this way. Right there. We need to put one in right here. Right there, yep. Like right here? Back a little bit to you. So it's right there. Right there. Perfect. I think that should be good. Oh, these things are covered with pitch. I'm very fortunate to have my wife out here and helping and doing this type of work. Fortunately, she generally loves it, but I'm pretty sure that the post is going to be too high for her yeah. to do any pounding in. So I'll probably have to do the pounding or at least some. I'll it. try. Careful, don't hurt yourself. Um, a lot of times I would, when I'm using the sled like this, I pull right up beside it and we can pound it in when we're <laughs> up a little bit higher. So that's what we do even now. That's good enough, Brenda. Grab the Grab your iron bar and walk halfway between these two posts. One that's there and one you just put in. And we'll get another one in. And then I will slide in a little bit closer so that we can... Anyway, that's fine. It's not that fuzzy. The beauty about um, the fence I'm going in right now, it's just only going to be here for a couple weeks and then we'll actually take it back out. And uh, so it doesn't have to be too, too fancy. Cap step. Cap step. Cap step. Yeah. 
careful. Oh. Okay. I'll give it a whirl. I mean, I don't know. Well, I can get closer when I come back through, too. You gotta hit right dead on top. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll get on the way back through. Okay. Um, Sounds good. Are you enjoying putting the, making the holes? Yeah, that's fine. So go ahead and do I'd, the other one. I'm not enjoying trying to slam them in, though. Go ahead and do the other one, and then I'll okay. leave the iron bar right in the hole after you get done. Okay. And then I'll come through and get really close. It's uh, very... But, but the, the post is right here. But just leave the iron bar in the... <laughs> yeah. You don't want me to put the post in? Whatever. You can. Um, it's very um, rewarding to have trained this colt or training this colt. But uh, we have, until now, just been going around around circles and not accomplishing anything other than training. And so today it's quite rewarding to be out and not only training our colt, but actually getting something done. And it's, uh, it's a great way to do things because you're killing two birds with one stone. Oh. Try to keep it as straight as possible in your holes. Yeah, I see that. I'm sorry. So Brenda's up there hitching, getting the next hole in. And I really wish I had a whip, long enough whip, because the horses are not starting very well. Because Ken knows he's with Baron. He knows he can slack a little bit when I tell him to go. And of course, Baron's still colt, so he doesn't know that stuff. But I'll have to get after him a little bit. All right, calf stop. Calf stop. Careful. Oh. Kind of thought maybe this noise would scare Baron, but it doesn't seem to bother him at all. And as you can see, I'm not pounding them deep because I don't want them deep because they're only going to be a couple weeks and then I got to take them back out. Oh, chop stop. Oh. Is this, where we, where, is this where we went over? No, one more. Oh. And you want it right here? See it? Yeah, it's right here, but. That's what I want. Okay. Oh, no. You want it to tie right into this one? Oh. So one right here. That's good. Hey, that way more. Right there. Take right here. Here. Whoops, bad aim. I'm gonna do it here.
Man, it's wet. Hang on, by right with you. Well, I'm afraid I'm gonna not be able to find it. Let's take it out. And jump right on here. Oh. Come hold the lines. Don't put pressure on it. Oh. Okay, here's four inch lid, so and here's four nails. And I want you to put just about at your waistline. So just jump right over there mm -hmm. and head right down to that post. And this put it way. yeah on the inside of the post. Okay. I cuffed up. I cuffed up. Cuffed up. Oh. Oh, I know where I dropped one, but I know where it is. <laughs> nice step. Oh. 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 Hey, this fence post isn't in very good. Oh, that's right. That's the one I didn't tighten up. Oh. I'll swing around and tighten up these last two. Cuff stop. That's right. Give it. Give it. G. 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 Watch out, the hammer's right there. Oh. I think you're on the hammer. I am, and I'm not close enough either. But we'll make it work. That's because I was dubbing around, taking pictures. You're the man. Cast up. <laughs> oh. Um, I think I need a nail and a thing of my bob. Let me pound this one in first. Okie doke. Uh, yeah. A little unstraight, but. echo going on over there somewhere. Oh. Uh. Ow.
Okay. Beautiful. Jump on, we're done. Okie doke. I have got pitch all over my hands. They're dripping these posts. These posts that were used are tamarack posts, poles, and they, they, they uh, are pitchy, but also that's one reason why they last in the in the ground very very good. They they fairly fairly rot resistant. Did you show they Kenny a uh, buck over there? Buck's over there. Buck's been whinnying. I don't know if you could Cut hear that. it earlier. Every time he does, Baron hollers back. Thanks for coming along with us today on this little fencing excursion. I think Baron did pretty well. He learned some new things and and so did I, so that's good. And I, I hope you enjoyed the video. We do have new merchandise out, so um, if you're interested in that, it is in the link below the description. It's in the description below the video. There's a link for it. Our calendars are here. We have new winter hats. And of course, we still have t-shirts. Woo! Cap. And we have um, other caps as well. So check it out if you're interested. If you are new to our channel, thank you for watching and please consider subscribing. And if you happen to enjoy this video, just click the like button that helps YouTube know that that um, you guys were interested in the video. Thanks for coming. Enjoy the day. Hip. I cast up. So Jim said this was the first time that he's unhitched them without them being tied in the front, and they just did well with it. Today, the difference from the back between Aaron and Ken, <laughs> Baron and Ken seems very, oh. very distinct. So pleased when he stands like that till I ask him to go. When I went and took, put his rope away, you know, careful. Mm -hmm. Good job, Aaron. Of course, you're always, you're always good, Kenny. I would normally go start getting the bridle off Ken, but. Um, not quite ready for that. No. Want a drink, Kenny? Come on in. Waiting for your bridle off. Emma. Hey, 